Chris here and welcome back to another audio review. It's gonna be the last one for a while from me. So iTechnic, they sent these out to me, some active noise cancelling headphones to review. Now these are called the BH005s. It's their latest model. They're priced at 99 US. So are they any good? Well, let's find out in this review. So first up, I'll show you what you get inside the box. We've got this nice travel case. It has a good finish to it. I really like it. The iTechnic logo there on the front. And I like the fact they didn't go with fabric here because the fabric one that I have with the Mixiter that I've been using now for a couple of weeks, it's looking dirty already. It's picking up a lot of dust and lint. So you're not going to have the problem with this one. It's quite strong and it's not going to scratch up anything else in your bag. So if you happen to put this up against a laptop or something, then it will not mark it because it's a soft material they have gone with. The only thing that could scratch, of course, is the zip, which is metal there. So they're stored away nicely. Inside here you get a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. You've got micro USB for charging. So the charging time is quite good on these. It's just over an hour and five, 10 minutes. So very quick, others are a little bit slower there. And we do have an adapter there for airline use. So the build of the headphones is a mix between plastic and metal. They've gone with metal around here. And as a result, this doesn't fold in. So I'm not really too happy with the design choice here. I think it would be a little bit better if you could fold them in like other brands. So other ones here, you can fold the headphones themselves right in. And that just makes them a little bit smaller there for stowing them away. So it's a bit bigger, but they do have very good build to them and finish and the quality on the back here. Is a texture. It feels like it could just be plastic made to look like metal right here. We've got this switch there for the active noise cancellation. So when that is on, it lights up with a tiny little green light in there. So you can sleep with these and put that on, for example, on an airline, and that'll block out the ambient noise. The only issue is if you forget to turn it off, it will, of course, slowly drain away your battery. We have a microphone status LED. There's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack volume up and down, and then the power on, which you just need to hold down for about five seconds to turn it on, and then micro USB in here for charging. Now, I would have preferred to have seen here Type-C. I mean, we are in 2019, and I think really most brands should be using Type-C for everything. Now, the cushions on them, they are very good. Now, after using these for extended periods, three to four hours, I have the same complaint that I do with every single over-air headphone, and that includes the expensive ones, that heat builds up inside and you do tend to get a little bit sweaty, especially here now in summer. Uh, we're up to 40 degrees outside, and even indoors with the air conditioning on, 25 degrees, I'm still getting a little bit hot with them. But they are quite comfortable. Now, they don't apply too much pressure on your head. We've got metal in here, of course. Soft padding on the top which again, after using these for three to four hours, I didn't have any complaints. It wasn't pressing down on the top of my head, causing too many issues there. They are adjustable and they do have a very good feel to them. So I think the build quality overall is really quite good for the price. So the controls of these are straightforward. Holding the power button down for five seconds, it powers on. And if you haven't paired it up to anything yet, it will go into the pairing mode, you connect up and you get a voice prompt to tell you it is paired. If you've already paired it to a device, as soon as you power it on, it only takes about two seconds, it will connect up and tell you it is paired. So we have the volume up and down buttons here. They've got a good feel to them. They are made out of plastic, so they're not super high quality. A triple tapping will redial, answering calls, tapping the power button. Our skipping tracks can all be done from this control right here. And it is relatively easy to use and get used to that. Now the call quality, wanted to comment on that. It does have apparently noise cancellation. It seems all right, but it's still not as good as the call quality directly from my phone itself I found. So the range and the connection quality is fine on these. I've had no breakups. I can walk a couple of rooms away and still have very good connection there without it breaking up. I need to walk about, I'd say 10 meters away before you start to really notice problems where it will start to break up. Now in terms of audio sync performance, the latency I found in Android when you're watching video or YouTube, it doesn't go with people's mouths. On the other hand though, if you're an iPad or an Apple user, you've got an iPhone, I've noticed that the latency there with the Apples is fine, it's perfect, it's spot on. I'm watching Amazon Prime here at the moment and everything is perfectly in sync. So the comfort of these, after using them for extended periods, like a couple of hours, I find they're good, the fit is good, they have a very good seal, the cushions on them are very nice and soft, and even after two, three, even four hours, I found them to be fine, no real issues, they're not causing any pain or anything, the padding on the top is good on the top of my head, as long as you adjust them of course. Now they do look big and bulky like uh, most active noise cancelling headsets out there, in fact all of them you'll find are going to be like that. 
Now the range is good. I didn't notice any problems with them disconnecting. Voice call quality seems to be fine. However, I wanted to comment that my phone still sounds better for voice calls over these, but you've got that option that of course, that you can just tap the button, answer a call, and it's gonna be acceptable, it's gonna be fine. Now the battery life is good. They claim up to 30 hours. Uh, I think it's more like about 27, 26 hours. Uh, with my calculations. So a little bit short there, but if you disable the active noise cancellation, then you will extend the battery life a little bit there. In terms of sound quality, I wanted to make things, some things clear here that they do sound better than the Mixiters, okay? And build quality is a lot better, but these, you cannot fold them in. So they don't fold down to be a little bit smaller like you can with these ones, for example, but these are made out of plastic and don't have quite as good a build. The cushions aren't quite as nice, overall not as comfortable. They do have a very similar sound to them, but these sound to me just a little bit better. It could be because they have a better seal to them as well. So bass is good. Mids is good when the noise cancellation is active. I've noticed that when it's not active, it's a bit muddy and at higher volumes, it will tend to distort a little bit, which is not great. But with it on, I find the sound to be quite decent. Now don't make that mistake of thinking that, hey, these are gonna sound just as good as the Sony active noise cancelling headphones out there or other brands because there's a big difference still. You're not really going to get, definitely not going to get the same kind of audio quality. So, so don't think, don't make that mistake. So where these lack for me is like a lot of the other cheaper Bluetooth tech that I've been reviewing is the highs. Okay, so they focus it seems on the way they optimize them for bass, maybe the mids, but the highs to me aren't as clean, as crisp as they should be. You definitely notice that. So when you flick the noise cancellation switch on like all of the other ones out there, you will hear a bit of white noise, like a, a hiss, but the noise cancellation is quite good on these. So right now with the rumble of the compressor of the air conditioning, when I put these on, I can't make it out. And when you flick the switch, you notice the difference straight away that you can't hear your voice as well. So in terms of noise cancellation, I think they're doing a very good job. So for uh, aircraft, rumble aircraft, jet engines, diesel engines and cars, buses, public transport, trains and things like that, uh, they will do a very good job at blocking out the low frequencies, highs, like someone talking to you, uh, you will still be able to pick up on a bit of that. It's not completely isolating you there, but I feel for the price, the noise cancellation is doing a reasonably good job. And the fact that of course you can flick the switch and run these without any audio being played whatsoever is good for sleeping on say, airplanes and public transport there too. However, if you forget to flip it off, which I've done before in the past, and you haven't used them for say a week, you'll arrive to a completely dead set of headphones. So charge time is good. It's only just over an hour, which is very fast, uh, because other ones that I've reviewed, they take a lot longer there. So that is another positive. Now I found the audio sync, it depends on what devices you are using. So with say an iPhone or an iPad, with my iPad Pro right here that I have, the audio sync is absolutely perfect. No problems with video, Amazon Prime, YouTube. It's all synced up to people's lips and good there. But with my Huawei P30 Pro and using the Bluetooth there, YouTube's completely way out of time there and video as well. And that to me is really annoying. So it depends on what you're doing. But with music, it's fine, okay, so that is good. So really, I think for the 99 US, they're perhaps maybe a little bit too pricey. Hopefully that price is gonna come down. But there is a clear difference between the 70 US and the 99, mostly with the comfort really, not with the sound quality. You're not gaining too much. I feel in sound quality, perhaps a bit, better bass on these ones a little bit. So overall, it really depends what you want. So these are not going to be able to match and compete with the likes of Sony's active noise cancelling headphones. I used to own a pair myself and it's day and night that these are falling way behind in terms of that. But for the price, you're on a budget. I think they're good. Just if you really love your crisp highs, clean highs, then you might be disappointed with these right here. Thank you so much for watching this review and I do hope to see you back in the channel. Bye for now.